Hi, it's Margaret. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I thought I'd go into a deeper dive of my art materials um, that are in my tabaret. So these are mostly my oil painting supplies. Um, and to start out, we have all of these brushes. So a lot of them are really tiny. Um, I got this set of really, really tiny, um, fine um, paint brushes. And then um, I have some flathead paint brushes. And then I have these um, longer brushes that I use for my oil paints. Um, a lot of them are just kind of the cheaper Blick Scholastic um, brushes that I like to use. And I have all different kinds of shapes. I have some um, filberts and flats and a fan that I like to use. I don't typically use a lot of um, large paint brushes, um, but that's something that maybe I'll start doing more of. But I really like small details in my paintings, so these smaller brushes do help with that. Um, and then I have a couple of palette knives that help me with mixing my paints. And um, I don't really paint with my palette knives that much, but that's something also that um, I'm exploring. And then I have a palette scraper that I use to scrape off dry paint for my palettes. And then I kind of keep the extras in this, or the pieces in this um, little yogurt jar. And then in my drawers, the first drawer um, is the one I use the most often. It has all of my oil paints. So um, I like to use Gamblin oil paints. And by the way, um, this video isn't sponsored by anyone. So um, if you want to support me and my art, um, feel free to subscribe to my channel or leave a comment. Um, it really helps me out a lot. But yeah, so I also have some Windsor and Newton um, paints. I have um, also these tiny tubes of kind of different colors, um, brighter colors that I have. Um, I try to keep this organized, but it kind of turns into uh, a mismatch when I actually am painting. Um, I use cut up t-shirts to wipe up my brushes, and this is my little jar of linseed oil. Um, and then I also have this uh, tube squeezer that I like to use to squeeze out all the paint from my um, tubes and a sponge that I use sometimes, um, but not often. Um, and then in the second drawer, I have um, some extra paint. I have this, um, I don't know what this is called, but it helps me when I gesso my canvases and it smooths everything out. Um, this is some brush soap, I think from Chelsea Classical Studios, and this is what I use to wash out my brushes. So I actually use, um, in here is some lavender brush cleaner, and so I wash my brushes in there first, and then I scrub them in soap, and I use actually a cut up um, tennis ball to kind of um, help me scrub out my brushes so I'm not just um, scrubbing in my palm. And then these are actually just the lids to the um, jars up here. And then I kind of have a bunch of different mediums that I wanted to try. So um, these are, um, there's walnut oil and I think I have um, some more brush cleaner here. I think there's like a lean medium and then a fat medium. Or this is, oh, this is lavender spike oil that I've also used to help clean out um, some of my brushes. Um, yeah, this is linseed oil. And then this is the fat medium. And then this is, what is this? Varnish. Um, so I thought it was like a good, these are all I think from Chelsea Classical Studios and a good way for me to trial out different um, mediums and things to clean out my brushes. That's just another jar of linseed oil um, that I take away, take around with me when I do plein air painting. Um, these are brush cleaners so that one of these is in this jar and helps me clean out my brushes. And then I keep these um, little uh, yogurt containers to help me um, if I'm mixing like acrylic paint or whatever, um, just to keep it um, wet for a little longer. Um, yeah, so these are some, and then these are just my extra paints that 
I'm gonna use when I run out of the other ones. And then in this third drawer are just my cut up t-shirts. So I had a bunch of friends um, kind of donate their old t-shirts from growing up and I just cut them up and it's what I use to help clean my brushes. Um, I tend to like the white and lighter color shirts so I can see if um, I'm actually cleaning out my brushes all the way through. And then down here I have kind of some miscellaneous stuff. I have um, some uh, flat canvases that I've painted on or are like in the middle of painting and just haven't gotten to. I have some cup boards to um, when I do plein air painting I like to put paper um, on them and then carry them out because I don't really have a great system for my plein air painting yet. And then I also have gray palette paper which um, I put on the back of this palette and then I also have um, my other um, palette over here that I put it on the back of. This is just a picture frame that I found in Goodwill. And then um, in the bottom I have little mini easels that I like to use for displaying smaller paintings. Um, so I store them here and um, just the, that's the lid for the brushes in here. I also use this rolling storage uh, unit uh, and I don't have much on it but this is actually the top of my um, easel because my painting was too big for it. I have some gloves for when I'm cleaning things and then um, I have a couple different varnishes um, that I use uh, for my paper paintings and then this is a brush holder and cleaner and then here is my varnish and here is a bigger bottle of brush cleaner and then I also have my linseed oil and my, uh, I think this is safflower oil. But yeah, so these are all my oil painting supplies. I really only use my um, oil painting and brushes uh, most often and then kind of have all these other supplies for cleaning things up. Um, but yeah, that's a quick tour or a in closer in-depth tour of my oil painting supplies and um, I'd love to hear what supplies you use and how you keep organized, um, what systems work for you, um, and let me know in the comments other videos you'd like to see from me. Thanks so much!